Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joanne and I'm the Learner Lawyer. I thought today we'd take a look into the Without a Crystal Ball Facebook page. I've sort of strayed away from that for, well, you'll find out obvious reasons. Um, it is a bit crazy. Um, I have noticed the reviews have gone. A few people said that the reviews have definitely gone. Apparently she's got a website and she's away at the moment, which is interesting. Um, it says she's an entertainment website and a blogger. So it doesn't say that she's a journalist. Is a commentary channel on YouTube. Join Katie daily as she covers trending topics and reality TV. So the first thing that you'll notice when you go to her Facebook page, that's right, is that she has to, she want, she needs to share a few things about herself because apparently you know there's all these rumors around about her. Uh, and what I really find really interesting, she always refers to everybody else as a convicted felon. Um, but, yeah, you know, so this is the recent story that I've come up with a new audience. Some people believe that I have harmed people. YouTube, are sending their, YouTube creators are sending their friends out to spam my followers and message them about lies about me. And so she goes through his fat. So one of them, you know, fat, fat. If claims I've been sued, fat, I was sued unsuccessfully by Tully Westbrook. Lawsuit was just our lawyers met. We agreed to settle. We both intended to against the other. I did not defend Tully or Westbrook. There was no blood. She forgot about the Jilly Juice one. Wasn't she sued with the Jilly Juice one as well? Wasn't that another one that she had? The other two lawsuits are in the process of discovery with with what on with on working towards resolution soon. Neither lawsuit has valid claims as the information and reporting I did was based on public records, public statements and interviews with saw. Both lawsuits we expect to end with dismissal or summary judgment as they are frivolous. Well the thing is I still want to see her human trafficking claims, her proof of human trafficking claims for 7M. Um, it's interesting because from my understanding both Chris Lee and 7M have both written to the court, and we, we, we can check this. We'll check this while we're on here, uh, saying that they're not complying with discovery. So that's interesting. Uh, she's talking about the fraud fundraiser. Uh, she's a malignant narcissist, an external, an, ex an, ex an existential threat to humanity. She's gone through therapy and never been diagnosed as narcissist and I'm open that I have ADHD, anxiety, PTSD and panic disorder, which is all treated by a doctor. The people who said these rumours have accused me of child abuse and many cat which are false and all of that. So um, apparently she's back, Uni Rock and KJ are back together. So she's saying since I'm being called a liar, so now she's pulled out Marvin Jackson Sr.'s court records of course now I actually had a really quick look at this and of course she hasn't submitted all the pages because there was a couple of pages I, I actually started to read through the pages and I got to a point and I thought oh where's the rest of it so of course I'm not here to slander anyone this is factual public record in order to visit Vaughn his name's Marvin actually he had to receive permission from the probation office so anyway who cares? Um, this is the me the messages between Justin and Favon ad admins. So again, she's sharing private information. Then we've got her sister wives. She's on the apparently she's got a frog in the house. Well, I thought she had a toad, but anyway, frog, toad, whatever. You sure that's a frog? Isn't that more like a toad? I don't know what frogs look like. I we, we, we have toads. So anyway, we have toads and well we I mean we do have frogs, but, but we have cane toads. So um now she's calling out somebody else. She's accusing of I there's I'm requesting you stop forcing reporting me to agencies and platforms. I thought it was Todd Chrisley. The thing is now she's saying that back up here, back up here, she said something interesting. I was swatted by this same group no less than four times last summer and four FBI, one was arrested 
fact, if the stalkers was arrested in England, I thought it was one stalker, or it should be the stalkers were arrested in England, but the stalker was arrested in England. She fabricated child CP. Anyway, um, I thought it was Todd Christie that was behind all of that. So now she's saying it's another group out of England. Right. So, you know, it, it gets hard. To, I can't keep up. Uh, she's still. Now, this is interesting. I'm going to play you this clip because I have not heard. Now, she says, Molly predicts in five years I'll be in prison for a very long time, crimes against him. Now, I did not hear her name mentioned. Tell you one thing. If you look at that Katie sideways, she's like Medusa. Just remember, a person that's happy with their life doesn't go around poking at people in pain, kicking them when they're down. And she does it behind a computer. I'm going to tell you something, Katie. I can see your future. Almost like I have a crystal. Oh, sorry. She does. I must have missed it. It's a wall of my own. I believe in the next five years you will be behind bars for a long time. Just because you're a bunchin chatter. You what? can't handle yourself and that mouth. You'll see. Bet you I'm right. Mark my words. August 8th is when I said it. August 8th, five years from now. She will be in behind bars. And I've never been wrong. Just wait till Justin comes out. I don't know what needs redacting. I don't do redact. I don't do anything like that. There's receipts. There's receipts of lawyers and everything. There's all that. But, and that's nothing. There's, that's not. Okay. All right. I was wrong. Oh, this is the clear. This is a long clip and I want to be clear it's not from the same video. Okay. Well, whatever. So she's, you know, uh, clipping, but it's all about Molly. Um, okay. Because I have a, despite it would be, this is not true. Now here's my understanding of what's going on. Letitia wanted to go see her son. She needed, uh, Dre wasn't going to let her go, so she needed a lawyer in case she needed to negotiate for her. The lawyer was able to negotiate a visit. She had to get from where she lived to go visit Marvin and then go back home because she works. So the money was, from my understanding, was spent on the lawyer to negotiate the visitation, but she's back home and she wants to go back again. Now, as long as, as far as I'm concerned, or from what I understand, as long as the money is not used, you know, if, if it was used for gambling or drugs, then you could say that it wasn't um, used quickly. But where, where the money's been used for her to go see her son, I don't know how you can turn around and say that it's, uh, you know, it's fraught. Or deception. Uh, taking money by deception actually has some very uh, is you know I'm going to go. If you give me money, I'm going to do X Y Z for you. But I go do you know I go and I go take it down to the horses and I I go. For example, Melissa Caddick, a case, classic case in Australia. People were giving money to Melissa Caddick to go invest their life savings to invest. She actually kept the money herself and produced false documents to show that the investments were growing. That is deception. You see? That is not, uh, that is not, um, so I've just done something wrong here. Uh, what Letitia is doing is not, in my opinion, uh, is not, in my, my opinion, deception. 
Um, and when you give to those things, you've got to also remember that it doesn't always, you know, there is a little bit of, um, you, you just can't, what's happening? If they change this, um, I can't get the court records. <laughs> Oh, there we go. That's what I want. Second one. Um, you know, you can't then turn around and say, well, some, you know, she used my money to do. I mean, the thing is, if she's going to Marvin, to go, if she's going to see her son Marvin, and I'm assuming she drove, she's still got to pay for parking. She's still got to eat while she's there. She's still got to, you know, no one's going to provide her food. Who's going to provide her food while she's visiting her son? You know, the reaccommodation. So from what I can work out, it is all used on the similar amount of stuff. So there was a document here on the 8th of the 8th <laughs> on the 7M case. So let's have a look at the 7M case document here. Oh, that's the wrong one. Here we go. No. Oh. It's not even opening in the right spot. Okay, so we'll see how we go here. Just bear with me a moment. Uh, window here. Okay, it says um, uh, 7M says so it's dated the, what day is this? I'm just looking for the date. So this was filed on the 8th at 2 p.m. Court, I mean, a scheduling order was issued on the July 18, which states discovery was to be completed by August 5, 2022. Our office attempted to contact the court via phone and email several times after scheduling order was issued and we have not received a call back to discuss. Judge Michelle Davies' order regarding the motion to dismiss is not due until the end of August and defendants have not yet served an answer in this matter. As there's not been an answer served in this matter, plaintiffs respectfully request an amended scheduling order be issued, which allows both parties to complete pleadings, which gives more than three weeks for completing discovery of this matter. So because, oh, so we know that a decision is going to be made at the end of August. So they've asked for the dates to be amended. So this was the scheduling order here. Um, and hearing. So we've got, see, pre so they need to still do discovery. Um, and the defendants, I guess, they haven't filed their uh, next bit of stuff, you know, so there's still documents outstanding before discovery can occur. So, again, here is the Chrisley stuff. Oh, look, there is an upcoming motion hearing on the 24th of April, uh, August, 24th of April, uh, sorry, 24th of August is a new date. So... And a motion here. So we've got the 24th of August and the 13th of September for the Chrisleys. So it's interesting because it's not what she says it is. She says that they're both at discovery. No, well, 7M is not at that point yet. So that we, we just uh, put a big hole in that. So anyway, uh, yeah, tell me what you think about all of this. This is just crazy. I don't know what's going on, but look, as far as I'm concerned, I, I don't believe that it is deception or fraud if it's been used, uh, if, it, if it's been used for her and her, you know, in relation to her son. I don't know how you can say it's deception and fraud if it was, and I know everyone was, is talking about a state dinner, but I, I, was, I watched that clip and I watched that video and Marissa actually said, I'll send you some money to go get yourself a steak dinner. She sent money and said, do with it what you wish. Some people do that. So I think some people need to just not, uh, you know, you need to do your due diligence. You need to look and you need to make sure that what you're saying is correct before you, before you say it. Anyway, we know that's what all good reporters do anyway. All right, well, I'll catch you all again later. Thank you. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. Look, I have memberships if you want to support the channel. There's also some other ways that you can support the channel. 
um, you can buy me coffee, there's PayPal. Um, if you if you can, if you can't, that's fine. Make sure you tell your friends and I'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.